Let the vengeance begin! Howdy, howdy! Sue Devil here, and welcome to Game 4 of our test match with Janet on occasion. We're playing the Dowie, of course, and Janet is playing Empire. And to make it a fun thematic match, we make it Thorgrim Grudgebearer himself, the High King, with his throne bearers up against Karl Franz. So this is going to be a fun game. Of course, if we have Thorgrim Grudgebearer, we need some Grudge Throwers. So we have the Goblobber and two Grudge Throwers. And uh, for my front line, I've got some Dwarf Warriors, basically Dwarf Warriors, Longbeards, Dwarf Warriors, Longbeards, and Dwarf Warriors, all with one chevron. I've got on my edges some Longbeards with great weapons down the middle, the Grumbling Guard for their aura, their Vigor Aura, and some more Longbeards with great weapons on each edge. I have some Bugman's Rangers just to protect against that edge pressure, cavalry, that sort of thing, and we do have the Dragonback Slayers. So for Janet's army, you can already see he's got uh, a Vanguard deploy, the Sterling's Revenge Free Company Militia, they do have armor piercing damage, and he has got an awesome army. This is fantastic. So he has got some mortars. So he's got two units of mortars. He said this is an old school Warhammer 1 build. He's got Karl Franz on his flying uh, horse, eagle, cat. And uh, he's got the Reichland Rune Fang, plus 26 melee attack, plus 8 leadership, the Stand Your Ground, Foe Seeker, and Hold the Line, plus 4 leadership, 100% charge resistance, the Blood War, minus 8 leadership, and he does cause fear and terror. And for his main line, very heavy infantry, great swords all across. This is exactly what you would see in Warhammer 1. He's got a chevron on a couple. And in his back line against the Dowie, of course he's got hand gutters that do armor piercing missile damage. And for his magic, he's got a Jade Wizard on foot, because why do you need something mounted against the Dowie? Good choice there. And he has got the Power Storm, the Power Storm for increased power reserves and magic. He has got the Channeling Staff, minus 15 ability recharge. And he's got Regrowth, good against AP damage, 22% physical resistance. The Flesh to Stone, which is actually a really cool idea, plus 60 armor, which makes Longbeards and uh, Dwarf Warriors do basically nothing to anything they're fighting. Re a Life Bloom, which is regeneration map ride wide every time you cast a spell. So without further ado, let's get things going. We're gonna, so we're going to start the artillery battle right away. We're going to target up our grudge throwers and get them going. <laughs> That's what I like to see, boys. We'll get shooting in onto those those the great swords. I want to. I would because he's well. That, <laughs> that was an accidental hit on the mortars. Uh, because I because I want to make sure I get some side shots. I am going to target these guys to this flank and these guys to this flank. I don't know if I've got my targets. Yeah, I've got these targets over here now. I will switch them so that I can get some side shots. He's bringing in. Carl Franz, I am going to get some early shots with these Bugman's Rangers. I'm going to see him coming. These guys will get spotted. He's got the mortars going. Mortars aren't going to do very much, so there we go. We're going to get some shots in on Carl. We're just going to push him off a little bit. He's going to bring in the silver bullets on this flank. I just <clears throat> don't really know what the rest of his army is. I keep expecting to see cavalry, but there is none. <laughs> so I'm pushing my Dragonback Slayers over to my right hand. I don't see these Sterling's Revenge yet. Just getting for the, getting ready for the mainline engagement. Uh, I want to get as much damage in as I can. So I've sent my mainline engagement to start. So we're just going to send everybody in to start fighting here. And we're going to keep try and keep our, gr our, our grudge throwers online and fighting. And he's and we got Thorgrim. We'll put him in the mainline, of course. Which actually is going to be a really bad idea. Because he's big and these guys are going to start hammering him. So he's actually going to go after the Longbeards with Carl. I am shooting at these silver bullets. These guys are going to do a fantastic job shooting in there. The mainline engagement has started, so he's just going to try and bring up some of his units and get good shots. Unfortunately, I'm not going to notice he's shooting at Thorgrim. So we want to bring in these Longbeards, get them in the engagement, and here comes the Sterling's Revenge. <laughs> They're going to come in and start shooting. So I see him, so I'm going to send those Slayers to try and get him. I don't know if he has them on Skirmish, but I, I got to do something. So I'm shooting back with the Bugman's Rangers. We're going to get in and start doing some damage. Sterling Revenge got pretty good stats. 
but these Dragonback Slayers are going to do a bunch of damage to them. This mainline engagement, oh man, these great swords, I mean, they're not what they used to be, but they still aren't bad, so we managed to route one. We've got Longbeards with great weapons and Dwarf Warriors here against another one. So, I'm trying to get some shots in against these Silver Bullets, and here you can see Thorgrims is starting to take this crossfire from here and from here, and I don't see it. I'm just fighting in the front line. And, uh, try and, and trying to keep up with Carl Franz. Carl's just going through my line, getting on the Bugman's Rangers. I'm doing ah, decently in here, but I can't, I can't quite keep up. I've got my Grumbling Guard up against some uh, great swords here. I, I want to keep these Groblobbers online. I've got these guys routed off. They are shattered. Now I can send my Dragonback Slayers up and around and uh, keep these guys shooting. I've got these guys targeted on the, the, the Silver Bullets. And I'm targeted over here on these great swords and on these hand gunners. And Thorgrim here is getting absolutely gunned down. <laughs> I finally see that. I'm like, oh my god, I, I, I gotta shoot in here. So I start aiming in on these hand gunners. I'm gonna do a ton of damage, but it's just too late. <laughs> He's way too slow to get by there. Come on, Thorgrim. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Run! Run! <laughs> I've already got these guys routed off, but I just, I just can't keep up. And there he goes. Thorgrim's down, but that's okay. Now we have really good leadership. And I'm getting some mortar shots in there, so I decide I'm going to send the Slayers up and in, and I want to get them over here. And then I'm going to send them back onto those artillery pieces. But here comes some great swords. They're coming back. They're going to get a rear charge on these Dwarf Warriors. And uh, we Carl's back in on these Bugman's Rangers, so I just, I'm, I'm doing okay against the great swords. He does have that extra armor, I think, on him. No, stand your ground. Uh, and he's routing everything in here. He's got these guys in the back, so these great swords are in the cookie jar. He's got regrowth on them to try and keep them fighting against the grumbling guard. I'm trying to keep everybody on on target, so I'm I'm sending my dragonback slayers up against these hand gunners. I just want to kill them, get them off. But there's too many these these great swords are just starting to get into the cookie jar here, so they're going to come after my my gobblobber, and they're starting to buckle my line here. I am fighting the good fight here. I'm chasing these guys off and then I'm going to chase up to here and continue on and grab that mortar and take it offline. Uh, this fight here is really, really close. I've got these guys out to the side. I just want to chase chase up and these guys keep disappearing on me. But I just want to chase up and make sure they keep going. But now he's got the great swords into the grudge thrower. He's, he's got these Bugman Rangers going. He's going to chase them off of the great swords and he's just flying around with Carl Franz. You know, this, this is the Carl Franz of old. Fly, flying all around the battlefield, getting into everybody. You know, I'm, I'm holding as hard as I can with the Longbeards, but now he's got his Jade Wizard in here. The Great Swords are confident. They have plus 60 armor, so I can basically do no damage. They have 155 armor. So I'm kind of trying to come up against these Great Swords and push them back and just find some good firing lines with these uh, Bugman's Rangers to get some shots. But Carl's going to see that. He's going to come and engage. I do have these Slayers. They're just going to come and absolutely murder these these mortars and I'm gonna send them after these mortars but then everyone here is starting to route I just couldn't keep it going so everyone's routed off I only got my slayers left <laughs> I was laughing I was talking to Janet I'm like I'm killing your mortars I don't care if I lost where <laughs> these mortars are gonna die and look what he does he's gonna try and send them away he's gonna try and run from my slayers I'm like that ain't gonna happen that is not gonna happen these mortars are gonna die <laughs> Uh, he's got like a whole bunch of troops here. It's, it's it's completely hopeless. I just wanted to get those mortars and kill them. So <laughs> we'll uh, we'll call that a good fun battle against the against the empire. Valiant defeat. Great army. I, I love this army. You know, good old great swords. We've got some hand gunners and these guys. They don't have a lot of kills, but they shot down Thorgrim. Two and six with the mortars. Not very much. But Karl Franz was a complete menace in this fight you know and I let Thurgrim get shot down by these guys I really should have focused a little bit more on them but 66 38 and 71 with the grudge throwers ain't bad 58 and 15 with the Bugman's Rangers but 52 53 and 34 with the grumbling guard you can see really just the quality of the great swords and the healing and that extra 60 armor really showed this Jade Wizard was an absolute champ in this fight and uh, you know no no need to hang our head here we we had a good hard fight and uh any slayers 109 kills i mean i had some slayers left i mean i could have sent them in just just for fun but you know it was uh i just wanted to kill those damn mortars <laughs> 
Uh, so another great fight. Going into the fight, we're, we're up 2-1, and now we're 2-2. So Janet and I, we, we had so much fun doing this. We, man, we just laughed and laughed, and we got to play some fun armies, some themed armies, you know. Um, you know, Thorgrim Grudgebearer with three Grudge Thors might not be the most competitive army, and you know he's bringing mortars, not the most competitive army, and Karl Franz. But we wanted to have some fun battles, and I think we achieved that. And after this fight, we we just kind of said, you know, let's call it a draw. You know, we both won two games. Let's shake hands and say we had, we had a really good time, and that's what we've done. So we've got four matches. I think they're all fun, interesting, exciting battles. I hope you guys have loved them as much as we enjoyed making them, you know. And I uh, hope you like the series. I mean, just, just fit in both well for both of us. And uh, thanks again to... The Janet's uh, subscribers who are egging them on to get this fight going with the Dowie. And uh, thank you to Janet. You know, it's funny. I had so much fun doing this. And uh, it was all because Janet just said, hey, you know, what are you doing? Are you, you interested in doing this? And and so thank you so much. And, and I really do appreciate it. And thanks to all you guys in the comments. You know, you guys, I want to hear your comments on the match. Uh if you enjoyed it, what you thought of the builds, you know, were they exciting, were they interesting to watch? I, I mean, everyone who watches my channel knows I love comments. I really do. Every single one, I read them all and, and appreciate them all. And uh, I have so much fun doing this. And it's funny, you know, kind of as I've gotten older, I'm, you know, I'm past the point where most of my life is behind me and not, not as much ahead anymore, but... I'm still having fun and, and really enjoying this and I I found that I appreciate things a lot more than I used to. I say thank you a lot more than I used to. So thank you, Janet. Really fun fight and thank you to all you guys in my comments and Janet's comments. And I would love for anyone who's not subscribed to Janet, go subscribe to him now and say thanks on my behalf. I would really I would really appreciate it because I <laughs> like I said uh, like I, I appreciate things a lot more than I used to. I say thanks a lot more than I used to. You get you get a little older and you start to appreciate things a lot more than I used to. So hope you guys have loved it. Would love to hear in the comments if you'd like to see us match up again. And, you know, maybe we could get together and do another set of battles. Uh, you know, we thought uh, instead of doing a best of five, we started, you know, thinking doing let's do a best of five or, or something like that. And... We just had so much fun that we thought this was the right thing to do, to just to leave it at a, a draw and, you know, present it as an interesting set of battles and, and hope that you guys would love it and would love to hear your guys' thoughts on it. And if you want to see us get together again, I'd love to hear that. You know, the, the, the best way to do that is to comment. I love comments and to, to see what you think, and that would really... I do a lot for me personally, and I'd love to. I'd like I make comments on Janet's videos. I like I've been subscribed to him for such a long time. Like when he had like a hundred subscribers or two hundred, I was already bugging him about more lore plays. You can ask him. I, I'll swear to God. <laughs> like as soon as I saw his first lore play, it may have been his first or second video. I was already commenting on it because I love it so much. So. Uh, I would love to see you guys commenting on 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 his channel and the match and back and forth. So uh, because I read them all and enjoy them all, and I will see comments on his channel, I'll watch his version of the battle, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the summary. I had so much fun. Janet is such a class act, and he's really fun to hang out with. And I hope you guys saw that in our battles. Even though you didn't hear our commentary, we, boy, we had some laughs in there. And in that first game against Chaos, I was, you know, like he was going everywhere with his damn dragons and his chariots and his and his Shaggoth. And, and, and he wouldn't let my cannons get back online. And I was swearing at him. I, I won't tell you what I said, but I'm going to tell you it's not fit for, not fit for TV, we'll say. I had my Dowie mouth all the way engaged in that battle because he wouldn't let my cannons come up back line. He kept on routing my units that I wanted to fight with. So oh, we just laughed and laughed. So uh, it was really, really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope 
you can do, that kind of came through in the battles and and hope you enjoyed Janice's perspective and uh with that said I will see you soon <laughs> <laughs>